had the blessing of being mentored um, for probably a, a, a year or so. I was working with a Minnesota charter school and I uh, met an initiated man. I didn't know what that meant at the time and uh, worked closely with him on a project. And in the course of that project, um, I don't know that either of us realized it, but I felt in retrospect that he had done an excellent job preparing me by challenging me in a very authentic way that maybe I hadn't been challenged before and uh, ultimately helped lead me uh, on a path that ended up uh, with uh, rites of passage. I had known about it for a couple of years. Actually, uh, somebody who made it in 2005, a college friend of mine, um, uh, tried to convince me to do it then, and it took me about two years to make up my mind to do it. And then I waited pretty much to the last minute to sign up for it. Um, but uh, how I found out about it at all was uh, um, at a Richard Rohr uh, lecture at, uh, in St. Paul. And uh, I was curious about Richard and what he had to say for himself. And so I went and listened to him and uh, just kind of out of curiosity wanted to know more. And I was very intrigued by the idea of getting together with men. Uh, and started in a small group actually a couple of years out of that initial Richard Rohr thing and ended up, you know, coming here. Having gone through some, some major challenges and changes in the last 10 years, uh, I was very receptive. I was also very open to the experience um, because of uh, education and uh, disposition in terms of uh, being a, a recent student of psychology and of a longtime student of um, myth and ritual in the context of literature. So uh, I was very much uh, of a beginner's mind when I showed up and I think as a result it allowed me to stay open to I think the sincere power of the uh, rites. Um, I found them very effective uh, in dealing with uh, a learning process that, that ultimately was uh, transformative. I didn't have any big uh, earth-shaking moments or anything like that. Um, it was, I can't say it was what I expected because I really didn't know what was going to happen at all. Um, it was uh, challenging took me out of my comfort zone quite a bit in many areas. Um, also uh, um, had uh, lost my father uh, back uh, uh, in 2000 and it was one way um, in that healing grief process that uh, I felt uh, that uh, I could kind of uh, keep connected with him in some way. It was, you know, finishing the things that we started together. And uh, um, so um, that's, uh, I think, one thing that's kind of uh, come out of this for me is uh, uh, another way to express um, that relationship that I had with him that keeps going, I guess, in some way. It's a challenging thing, I th believe, to reach back to someone who hasn't necessarily undergone the I'll call it training or education to open their mind and be receptive and I think that was one of the biggest elements uh, of the process that I learned. Uh, but if you can somehow find in yourselves that sense of awareness where you almost stand detached from yourself and you watch yourself and then start observing yourself and noting uh, how much bigger life and the experiences can be than just your personal ego or limitations will allow. And if you open that crack a little bit <laughs> and let the light in, it will fill you. It's an amazing process. And all I can say is, um, it opens uh, the potential to realize a promise that is 
uh, in hindsight, uh, almost miraculous. I, I'm not really a salesperson like that, and I feel a little bit uh, reluctant to just launch into my experience here because it's so personal for everybody. But um, I think uh, uh, if there's a way to, you know, communicate uh, where you know it might pique somebody's interest, I'm certainly willing to describe more of it or to connect them up with other guys and I've been involved a couple of times in uh, um, like uh, hosting events uh, for uh, to tell people about this and some of those guys have actually come uh, from that and that's been really neat to see um, there's many guys in my life that uh, I think would find value in this and uh, uh, I hope someday they get a chance to do it not for any reason that I want them to come here, but because it, they might find something uh, that uh, it would work for them. So, yeah. Well, I think it's very important, too, to note the connection with nature. I mean, the spot we're sitting in right now. And uh, if you have uh, any... Uh, appreciation. Uh, it, it's a thread that you will learn to pull on and open and experience even more fully than uh, perhaps before. Um, I'll leave it at that. Just simply that uh, nature is a pathway to the, the human soul and the inner life for me and it always has been and that's uh, something that uh, I think a lot of men will relate to. My experience has pretty much been limited to Minnesota, which is, uh, I think, a, a pretty strong leader in this whole um, rites of passage thing. And in uh, um, men as uh, learners and elders, uh, and particularly coming to the Audubon uh, Center of the North Woods. Um, and this is just such a great place. Uh, I've been up here, this is my fifth time here. Uh, to participate in a couple of uh, sub subsequent rites of passage and that sort of thing. And it's uh, a, a great place to uh, kind of slow down and check in and be there with uh, supportive people. Um, th this is uh, uh, unusual for everyday life and it's great, you know, to make these kind of people more part of my life. So Sweet. I really appreciate that that opportunity. So, awesome. yeah.